Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. And in this video, let's check out how to study probability and statistics in the last three days. So, day one. And I'll strongly suggest you study correlation and regression as the first topic. And the topic is worth 10 marks. And remember, it includes theory and numerical. And the topics which you have to study is like from correlation, symbol correlation. They will ask you, uh, find the correlation coefficient, etc. So, the symbol correlation. And the second thing to learn is coefficient of determination. And this will also be asked as Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient. Symbol correlation or Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient. And second thing they ask is the square of the correlation coefficient that is called coefficient of determination. And then comes to very very important topic that is partial correlation and multiple correlation. In partial correlation what we do is uh, what you call we keep one variable constant and study about the other two and in multiple we study about the combined effect of the dependent variable on the independent variables and coming to regression again you have to study how to create simple regression equation that means in two variables and then multiple and the total mark is 10 marks uh, sometimes they will ask two uh, what do you call problems numericals sometimes and most of the times it is like one theory and one numerical and the possible theory questions are you can pause the video and check out the questions and make sure you prepare these questions these are from your past years question paper they might uh, what do you call twist the question a little bit but it will be somehow related to these three questions let's move on to the next topic and you're supposed to complete this in day one and again I'm warning you this theory part is very important and the topic is probability and probability distributions from probability side they normally ask a six mark question and once more I'm telling you um, every year it changes a little bit so this year maybe they'll ask only for five marks this year they may ask only for five marks or four marks it can happen but normally uh, they ask a six mark question and you can expect any basic question like um, from the theory side what do you mean by mutually exclusive events independent events dependent events exhaustive events and what do you mean by conditional probability give examples like that and one important question uh, which comes now and then not every time is Bayes theorem so be prepared with the statement and uh, be ready to do problems numericals based on Bayes theorem so you can expect six mark from here and these are the possible theory questions you can pause the video and check out the questions okay now coming to probability distributions now look at this it is divided into two first is discrete and the second one is continuous and in discrete you have to study the general properties and in continuous also the same general properties and then comes special and the special cases in discrete are like binomial, Poisson and binomial problems approximated to Poisson. That means Poisson approximation for binomial and then hypergeometric and finally negative binomial. Now look at this. Normally from this part there will be 10 mark question. There will be two questions. So it will be 10 mark. And again this theory is very important. You might expect they will ask two numericals. Finally they might ask one theory and one numerical. And even in the worst case scenario they might ask two theory questions. 
and same with continuous first you study the general case uh, because they have asked so many times questions based on the general case and the special are um, what you call normal distribution and gamma distribution and chi-square distribution but uh, all you have to do is you have to learn the theory for chi-square distribution till now I didn't see any problems based on numericals based on chi-square um, I'm not talking about testing of hypothesis I mean in distributions in testi testing of hypothesis uh, chi-square test is a regular test and these are the possible questions so look at this probability mass function binomial negative binomial you can pause and check the questions normal distribution okay that's it let's move ahead to day two uh, the first thing you have to do uh, before you start day two is just give one hour revision uh, for all the things which you learned in day one that is very important spend one hour and just go through all the things especially the theory part which you learned in day one okay so in the second day you can check out sampling distribution central limit theorem and confidence intervals and that's a 10 mark topic and again theory is extremely important and um, in sampling distribution they normally ask uh, what do you call it? they will give a small population like one four six seven is a population and they will ask you to pick out samples of size 2 etc etc and then create sampling distribution and in central limit theorem they regularly ask state central limit theorem and confidence interval you have to study for mean as well as proportion and these are the normally asked theory questions from this part okay let's move ahead and this is something extremely important you are going to do in second day testing of hypothesis now look at this in testing of hypothesis um, sometimes they ask uh, what you call four numericals but nowadays it's rare kind of like ask one theory and three numericals and in one question paper I saw like almost what you call three theory questions that is unfair but I saw that in a question paper so uh, I'll give the classification here first you learn single mean testing and then single proportion so in single mean uh, you can classify it into large and small and small but from the samples are taken from uh, what you call a normal population so single mean single proportion similarly uh, you start with two mean and two proportion and in two mean you can see large small and one very important test that is called paired t test and this paired t test is used to check before after events I'll repeat this pair t test is used to check before after events and then two proportion and finally uh, we study single two and finally what you do is you study more than two mean you study to test the equality of more than what you call two mean and that is called ANOVA ANOVA test or F test or what you call analysis of variance and then you study more than the equality of more than two proportion and that is our chi-square test not chi-square distribution of course it's based on that distribution so chi-square test and you learn one more very important thing uh, that is a regularly asked question it's also based on it's a chi-square test but uh, they will ask the independence and dependence between the parameters 
so chi square test for dependence and independence so basically you have to study one two three four five six seven test and in two question papers i saw chi square test for goodness of fit so if you are planning for excellent marks extremely good marks be ready with goodness of fit and the possible theory questions are okay they will ask critical value critical region and see chi square distribution this is not test distribution now 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 look at this this is very important and the general procedure be ready with the general procedure in case they ask this question be happy because all you, you don't have to calculate anything all i have to do is you write step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 up to step 5 all the procedures very clearly and when you explain the calculated values Uh, make sure you give proper formula of all the test and if you learn the general test procedures uh, this part will be very easy it's the same thing because they might specify describe the testing procedure for single mean describe the testing procedure for uh, what do you call large sample two mean or describe anova testing so this is these are the possible questions and day 3 okay that's the last day so the last thing to study is what i call statistics and we already learned correlation regression in day 1 so the remaining part is uh, what i call measures of central tendency and dispersion and in this part uh, what i call the theory theory part is extremely important in majority of the question papers they ask one six mark question in the beginning and one eight mark is not the last but in some question papers the mark distribution is slightly different uh, and they will adjust these marks in other topics uh, so uh, look at this the normal pattern the normal pattern is uh, they can ask uh, what do you call any sort of theory question like what do you mean by central tendency what is dispersion uh, what is the use of central tendency in engineering field Uh, or how can we use statistics in engineering uh, they can uh, literally ask anything which you learned in your engineering classes and now if they ask uh, in this pattern the first question will be a very basic question and you have to be very good with mean median mode and what do you call in median mode etc missing frequency problems and nowadays uh, there is a pattern of asking box and whiskers stem and leaf so graphically you should be very good with box and whiskers in two question papers i saw that they asked an eight mark question based on box and whiskers so for the students who know box and whiskers that's like uh, really easy eight marks and for the students who were uh, expecting only numericals that was an absolute disaster so be prepared with box and whiskers stem and leaf and histograms etc etc and one more thing your uh, your syllabus has allowed you to use a calculator so use a calculator for calculating the summation values the square of the summation values etc and one warning please be very careful when you calculate sample standard deviation the formula for sample standard deviation is different than the formula for population standard deviation this is a common mistake made by the students so check out the formula and even if you use a calculator please make sure you write the value of sample standard deviation when they give you a sample and these are the most important questions they have asked chief measures of central tendency and see significance of statistics in engineering and merits and demerits how to construct a pie diagram yeah and bar diagram line plot line box plot okay so we can go through these questions that's it so i hope you enjoyed the video now start preparing there are only 3 days left and all the best for your exams